C'est vrai. It's fair to say Judd Trump is on something of a roll against Mark Williams. He's beaten him nine times in a row. And he's also on a bit of a roll in this group because he's won all three of his matches so far. And has done so for the loss of only two frames. Foul. Mark Williams, foul. So Williams in first here. He was also in first in the career championship league head-to-head -head against Trump. They first met in this competition five years ago. Williams won. But they've played each other another six times in the championship league since then. And Trump has won them all. Four. During that time, he's also whitewashed him in the last 16 of the English Open last season. He beat him 4-1 in the World Grand Prix season before last. And just prior to that run of Championship League wins, Trump also beat Williams in the Shanghai Masters in 2015. And that's how he's arrived at that run of nine straight wins against him. Twelve. I can promise you if there's one player in the game who isn't likely to be distracted by past records or anything like that, it is Mark Williams. If you were listening to the last match just a few minutes ago, Judd Trump's 3-1 win over Joe Perry, you'll have heard me mention that we haven't had a deciding frame finish all day. Well, we're going to have one now because Thanks. Ben Wollaston has made a century in the fourth frame against Ricky Walden. So that one has gone 2 all. Wollaston in excellent form in that match. He's actually made two centuries. Hard to do in a best of five. Thank you. 25. Twenty-six. Mark Williams, 26. Sometimes you just get a sense that a player doesn't fancy a particular shot, and that was one of those times. Of course, he was stretching a bit, Williams. Well.
He's played pretty well today, the Welshman. He's won two of his three matches so far. Eight. No. Sixteen. Seventeen. He's currently the top two players in the group table. Trump with three wins, Williams with two. Everyone else has won one match except Ricky Walden, who's lost both of his so far. 24. Top four, as I'm sure you know. We'll advance to the knockout stage of the group tomorrow evening. Trump has just been so consistent today. He's won nine of the 11 frames he's Thirteen. played, and in each of those nine, he's had a break of 63 or above. 33. Just the one century, a 120, in the middle frame against David Gilbert. So no work to do from here, developing reds, they're all there for him, all the balls he needs to get this frame tucked away very quickly. 53. And this simple red is frame ball. 60. There are some players who just make the game look so easy when they play well. There's another one of them sitting in the non-striker's chair at the moment. 74. But Trump is absolutely flowing here. He's just gotten a roll today. 79. And it's yet another big break. 85 in the first frame, Judd Trump. And with that 85, Judd Trump very quickly takes it. Back here, 28-year-old Judd Trump gets us underway. In frame two.
Whoa. Shows the frame of mind he's in, but I'm not sure what red he was actually playing on to. If it was the one just above the black, he was asking a lot of himself. Just from five. But just looks to be so full of confidence. And I think whatever happens in this match, the way he's played today was just the tonic he needed. He was 5 2 up. Looked to be on the brink of his first ever appearance in the Masters final against Kyron Wilson on Saturday afternoon. Wilson came back to win 6-5. And Trump, to some extent, the architect of his own downfall in that match. Huge disappointment for him. And I think coming here, playing a lot of matches, less pressurised atmosphere. Exactly what he needed. The way he's played so far today will really have served him so well. Well, that was a very poor shot from Williams. Now, does he go into the pack here? He's got the angle. Well, that'd be enough to take the loose one. Eight. Nine. He does look very focused today. Even more so than usual. And you just feel he's still very aware of what happened in the Masters and he's really determined to come here today and get it out of his system. Full team. wrong with the split but he hasn't landed on a colour 15 not easy to get safe from here round ball Foul, LMS. Just from 15. Mark Williams, full. Yeah. He knows how good a long Potter Williams is. If he gives him anything to go at here, looking the way the balls are placed, could be handing the frame away. Clear again for me, please, Judd. Brown ball, thank you.
Oh, this is a tester. And he knows if he misses it, he's going to be leaving a lot for Williams. Just from what? Really, he was nowhere near with that. First deciding frame finish in this group has gone the way of Ricky Walden. He's won a real high quality contest against Ben Wollaston by three frames to two. He's made a century in the final frame. Wollaston made two centuries in that match. Six. So Walden, at the third attempt, has got his first win in this group. That's the end of the day's action for him. Wollaston, also on one win out of three. We'll be back on in a few minutes to play David Gilbert. So everyone off the mark now. Walden was the one player who hadn't won a match yet. Twelve. Matt Williams, 20. Well, it was a good effort to get on a red with the previous shot. That was a tough one he took on, but there wasn't a great degree of risk attached to it. The way he was playing it, he was unlikely to leave anything, and he didn't. These two have been two of the best players of this season. They've both won a ranking event. Trump won the European Masters in Belgium in October for the second year in a row. He had won it in Romania last season. And Williams returned to the winner's enclosure after an absence of almost seven years at the Northern Ireland Open in November. Been in at least the quarterfinals of six ranking events and the Masters this season, Williams. Enjoying a real renaissance. At the age of 42.
he hasn't done it by playing shots like that. Mark Williams it's been a strange frame, this. Of both played some very loose shots and made some uncharacteristic mistakes. Eighteen. Just from eighteen. Well, we both seem to have gone off the boil together. That wasn't an easy red. But the general standard in this frame, a bit patchy. Fourteen. I thought he might take the green off that last red. Well, of course, uh, just noticing now, of course, the black is uh, occupying the green spot, so I was going to say he could get it back onto its own spot. But obviously that option not there. He's going to have to play a couple of very good shots here to get from yellow to green and then from green all the way back up to brown. Well, but none of that matters if you miss the yellow. And he's had a bit of a result there. <coughs> Managed to get the cue ball in a pretty good position actually and no good obviously because he's Missed the yellow, but it did at least enable him to lay a snooker unintentionally, but certainly to his benefit.
really the first scrappy frame that Trump has played today because even the frames he lost in earlier matches certainly weren't scrappy. Joe Perry had a couple of decent sized breaks in the frame he won against him. And in the one frame that Martin Gould managed to take off Trump, he had a 57 break and Trump only scored one point, so that was fairly clear cut. That was judged very well by Trump. He's covering a huge amount of distance with the cue ball. But straight back into trouble. Yeah. I couldn't get right behind you, so you'll. Is that about right? Yeah, Matt. Turned out pretty well. Not entirely sure the cue ball was as close to the green as it had been the first time round. May have made some difference to the shot. We are talking fractions only, of course. It is very difficult for the referees. They don't have access to the pictures here. So. That's finished nicely, so one good shot here, and it should be 2-0. Five. Five. And he hasn't had it. He's gone for the brown anyway. Oh, he's played that very nicely. So needs blue and pink now. Forty. Well, it's the first frame he's won today without making a big break in it. But he's won it nonetheless, and Judd Trump is on the brink of his fourth straight win in this group. He leads Mark Williams by two frames to nil. Eight. Nine. Sixteen. 
seventy. Oh, just Trump seventeen. Just when he looked 17. to be in with a chance to close it out and make it four wins out of four, out of nowhere a miscue. It is theoretically possible to win four of your six matches and still not make the group semi-finals, but it's never actually happened. And the way this group has panned out, it can't now happen in this one. So if Trump does get over the line here and make it four wins out of four, he'll already have his semi-final place secure by the end of day one of the group. Made that look like a routine pot to the middle, but it wasn't. Four. Don't know if you describe this as a frame winning chance just yet. Given where the pink and black are. Was uh, one frame in the previous group in a not dissimilar position where Trump managed to win the frame with a break of 60, which consisted of 10 reds and 10 blues. It was a masterclass in cue ball control. Ten. Six. 
60. You continuously have to go up for the blue. The cue ball's travelling a lot of distance. Gives plenty of scope for it to go wrong. You only need to finish the wrong side of it once to start making things difficult. 22. So sustaining a break off the blue 23. is a real art. Trump is doing it very nicely at the moment and showing all his class and quality. 28. 29. Well, he can get the black back in its spot now, but he's finished a bit straight on it. 36. It's okay though, he's got this red to middle. 37. And now it really is starting to look like a frame and match winning chance. And is it going to be yet another big break? 42. All sorts of records 42. becoming possible now. If he makes it four wins out of four, every chance he'll complete 42. the perfect six. It's only been done nine times in Championship League history. One of them was actually by Trump last year. Also in Group 5, coincidentally. 48. And if he can close it out in this frame, that seems inevitable now, really. 49. And it keeps alive the possibility that he could equal the record for the fewest frames ever lost in the round robin section of a Championship League group. Cool. That record stands at two by John Higgins in 2014. And Trump is going to end today 55. having lost only two frames in his first four matches. And just look at the breaks he's had throughout the day, 74, 77, 68, 82, 120, 63, 96, 64, 68, 85, 59 and counting here, it's just been relentless. Sixty. It won't alleviate the pain of his Collapse in the Masters semi-final against Kyron Wilson on Saturday. But it's definitely a step in the right direction. 65. And still just enough there to finish with a century. 66. So Mark Williams has also played very well at times today. We'll end the day with two wins out of four. Not bad shape in terms of getting through to the semi-finals. As he so heads into his last two matches tomorrow against David Gilbert and Joe Perry. 78. Eighty-seven. 
The century rounds off a formidable day.